Your rent contract is now invalid. Please vacate the place by February or discuss the renewal with your landlord. Jill couldn't pay her rent. This will distract her at work. <laughs> Have a very nice day. Alright. Uh, I can't actually remember whether we read through all of this stuff before the end of last episode or not. Uh, let me just quickly see. Uh, First Nations of Africa. I don't think I've read through that. New Lilum regulations. The current regulations preventing Lilum from looking too human have been working well so far, but Cliff City's government is planning to create even more new laws, so as to enforce robot-like features among the Lilum in a bid to reduce identity theft. Glitch City, the first nation to adopt the current standard in artificial intelligence and robotics, was the first to allow robots into normal society, quickly giving them necessary rights so as to sustain a long-term experiment about their role in human evolution. Unfortunately, the first year saw numerous reports of identity theft, resulting in the need for more stringent measures. It is unknown what kind of laws we'll have in the future regarding their existence. I feel like I might have read that before. In which case, I'll just quickly... Uh, yeah, I definitely have. Alright, let's go to work then. Friday, December the 30th. Good evening. Hmm. 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 Jill, are you humming Shine Spark? Oh, hey Jill. Are you okay? Are you in love, maybe? Hmm? Nothing of the sort. I'm fine. Right. No, seriously, did you fuck? Men only get so happy after they fucked. That's not... Oh my god, you totally fucked. Was it Alma? Did you have seven minutes in heaven with her? No, I, I didn't. In any case, congratulations. I haven't seen you as happy since... Well, never. Today's escapades will bring us to a familiar place and... Shit. Jill, I'm, out. I'm gonna... Not so fast, flat bartender, if that's even your real name. Last time, my viewership had a weird peak while I was passed out. So I'm here to find out what made people so interested. Uh. Hmm. Do I have something in my face? This guy totally fucked. No doubt about it. That gleam in his eyes is unmistakable. <sighs> Whatever. Just keep it down. Oh, Jill, you're here. Isn't that the past our girl from two weeks ago? I'm not here. Oh, sorry. I'll be back in my office then. Anyway. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Um. <laughs> you were too happy and you were too mopey. What happened? I was right. Huh? That Laura girl was head over heels for him. I was right on the money. Uh, say, that girl. I'm not here. Sorry. Isn't she the one that passed out last time? Anyways, Betty was right and that deserves a beer. And you? I'm fine. Hmm, alright, a beer. Forgot I need to pay attention now what customers want. Uh, that. All oh, mixed. There you go. Yeah. Woo. So the girl was actually infatuated with him? You should have seen her, screaming from the top of her lungs that she liked him. And him just standing there thinking. Just like that. In retrospect, it was a tad too cliched for my taste. Ugh. Still, I knew she liked him. I was right. I was right. He doesn't seem particularly happy. He never is. I like your co-worker. Holy shit, did he fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're making it so obvious, Jill. How? That beaming face is unmistakable. The face of a guy that got some and enjoyed every moment. Back to deal, though. Like I said, he seems lost in thought. Victories like these are far and 
a few and far between. Let me enjoy myself. Uh, can I get something non-alcoholic here? That's not how you drown your sorrows, piece of scrap. I'll have a bloom light. Okay. Non-alcoholic and a bloom light. Um, right, let's just look through. Uh, non-alcoholic, there we go. Wait. It only lets me mix one drink, so am I supposed to just ignore what deal wants? Apparently. Uh, there you go. Oh no. Uh, apparently, can only go to the next one after. Uh, after I finish the drink. So, let me give no alcohol. Let me give deal a crevice spike. And Betsy will get her uh, bloom light. One, two, three. Here. Thanks. Same. Celebrate all you want, but I'm freaking out here. I know nothing about relationships. I have no idea what to do. Well, for starters. What do you think, Jill? Me? Huh? Betty, I've seen a few of your relationships, remember? Aside from Veronica, there's Angela, Pamela, Sandra, Rita, Monica, Erica, Tina, Marie and Jessica. Or should I say... Didn't she have the sheets? Smells like a pig. Cold feet, shampoo wa waster, chocolate addict. Too religious, fan of the wrong rugby team, teetotal, and chews with the mouth open. <laughs> what do you think, Jill? That you must be quite the heartbreaker to have so many relationships in a short period of time. I mean about piece of scrap situations. And thank you. I'm not the right person for this. Uh, Jill? <laughs> You're still on fucking cloud nine. <laughs> or is it fucking in cloud nine? What about... Sneaky, sneaky. I'll be damned, she actually hides pretty well. Uh, for starters, how do you feel about her? I don't know. I don't know her that well. You could start there. Ask her out sometime, get to know her. Maybe she'll change her mind. Maybe you'll change yours. In the end, you lose nothing by... What? Uh, I'm just realizing I'm giving love advice to Lilim. So I don't know how well it applies to you. Eh? These things are human in all but organs nowadays anyways. Even if that's the case, it's interesting that she felt that way towards him. Why wouldn't she? This fellow is a good catch if I do say so myself. And like I said, humans and all but organs. You've surely encountered Lulum that you sometimes forget are not humans. Well... We live in weird times, but hey, that only makes them more interesting. It's odd going to other cities and not seeing the same integration of Lulum though. Well, Glitch City is pretty much the cradle of social experiments involving Lulum integration, so... <clears throat> anyway, just try to get to know her. You'll find out how you feel afterwards. Yeah, I think I'll try that. It's quite the uninspired advice if you ask me. Anything else? Let's commemorate the occasion with a piano man and a piano woman. Alright. Two, a light, three, runs an extract by fun doctor. And by Flanagan, free comic truck on the rocks and mix. And uh, by Ale Height, five runs and extract, two part of Delta, and free Flanagan, and free Karma Trine. There you go. Here. 
And now we reach a stalemate. I'd normally take the piano man, but I feel there's a symbolic value in taking the woman. Hmm. Why order like that then? <laughs> I hate Laura. Y you what? She's gonna take you away from me. You're my piece of scrap, not hers. You're mine. Mine. Betty, you don't own me. Besides, I can't, for the life of me, leave you alone. I feel like the moment I let you out of my sight, you'll just crash. <laughs> That's not a laughing matter. You need someone making sure you aren't kicking people. That's not normal, you know? Besides, it's not like I have something with her yet. You're right. So you won't leave me? <sighs> I'd worry myself sick if I left you to your own devices, honestly. We should leave now. Oh yeah. We're holding a small New Year's party tomorrow. I don't know if you want to come. We'll come. Are you sure? We will. Fine. We'll be here, Jill. Anyway, see you then. Bye, Bill. <laughs> Please come again. Party? I'd love to go. But I told everyone that tomorrow I'd end the year with a party myself, so... Sorry. No one invited you. I totally forgot she was already here. Man, that was such a bliss. Still, I can see how traffic spiked. Things can get fun here. And just like the last time, I need to show my viewers something fun. Give me something nasty. Uh, <laughs> text keeps going. Uh, something nasty. Promo drinks are considered nasty, right? Bits of promo bland. Uh. Mm, wait. Uh, sour promo bland. Sure, we'll give her that. Four of all ingredients. And uh, on the rocks. Here. This is the... Uh, <laughs> Hold on. It was nasty, alright? And now it's time for me to be a nice person and give you something nice. Eh? It's the second time I'm here, so it's only natural you get your own copy of my theme song. No, thank you. Don't be shy, let me give you one. I mean it, no thank you. Well, too late, it's already in your player. That can't, how in the ever living fuck did you do that? Magic. That's bullshit. Video, to edit, video editing magic. Did you just hack into the music player? Let's move on, shall we? <sighs> yeah, whatever. Hey, winter dogs. Last time we talked about this place like it was this zany haven of sorts, but I see the same shit. Seriously, no decorations or anything of the like. Good question. Where are the dogs? I either haven't paid enough attention to their arrival or they haven't come. Idols, newspaper managers, talking dogs, and yet this is the same old bar like last time. I might sue you for fake advertising, you know? Now that I think about it, maybe Boss just donated money to the CIRA thing and then tricked the dog into coming here as a part-timer for kicks. Oh well, anything interesting lately? I mean, it's not like I missed them, but they should at least show their faces. Hello? Sorry, what did you say? I was asking if there were any new stories. This is not a newspaper, you know. Nor is it a crazy stories on demand streaming service. That's a big fat line, you know it. Shut up. But but I said nothing. Hey. <laughs> uh, I meant. So shut that idea up. Yeah, that. I won't. Last time I came here, the viewers should peek for some reason, and I want to find out why. Maybe pretty boy over there can tell us the story of who he fucked. Hmm. 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 He's so distracted he won't even make a retort. Amazing. 
I guess there's something worth saying, but then I want to hear it. Well, Kyo Miki came yesterday again. You're shitting me. You expect me to believe she came all the way here again? Do you even have proof like the glass from last time? Well, if I may interject. You've been listening, boss. The walls are pretty thin. Oh. Anyway, she did. I even took a pic with her. She did what? Didn't she tell you that? I thought she did. Let's see. Why, why, why? I try to make an appointment with her and she's always busy. But you sit there and she just comes waltzing over? It's not fair. Hey, if I knew how to help stuff like that happen, I'd share my secrets. I was just as baffled as you are right now. Yeah, but I bet you're not even that much of a fan anyway, are you? You're not wrong. Can you at least tell me how nice she was as a client? Very graceful client, much like the last time. Really nice girl. I'm gonna give you my number. If she ever comes back, you let me know, you hear? I'm not gonna let you keep her to yourself. I really doubt she'll come back again, though. She already came twice. I'm not taking any chances. Ah, I need something to drown this anger with. Give me something girly, will you? Okay. Uh, sure, you'll have a sugar rush. Uh, maybe she'll go to sleep again and leave me alone if I give her enough alcohol. Here. Phew, let's just chill a bit. It's still not fair. You know, you're boring today. You're not chatting that much, nor are you doing anything funny. Maybe the whole peak viewership thing is just you? Eh? Maybe this bar and me both had nothing to do with the spike. Maybe you were just that good. Are you hitting on me? I'm not. In fact, I'm kind of trying to get you to leave. Pronto. Don't be so hard on the girl. She's fun. Uh, another nuisance shows up. Bah, Joe hates me. It's not hate. It's just... Wait, I'm not having this conversation again. Boring. Hey, hey, you're curious, right? About Fuckboy's partner? Wanna know who it was? Do you know? Maybe, maybe not. That maybe not settles it then. Not taking any chances. Oh, come on. Uh, bartender, you're making lots of faces there. It's nothing, really. Did this your bartender's break or something? Should I call the manager? Tech support? Hey Joe, in and out of voice, remember? Fuck. What? Who fucked? Aside from that guy, I mean. Um, uh... S say, you're oddly calm today. Well, I've been getting more sleep lately. That way I don't feel like if I stop speaking I'll die. Crash is one hell of a drug. And wouldn't you know, I can actually make it premium time if I go commander. Uh-huh. But come on, I'm getting bored out of my ass here. Do something. I'm not a dog. You can't just ask me to roll over, you know? Mind if I entertain you a bit then? Boss? You and Jill, take a break. I'll entertain the missy here. Alright. Ah, Jill, but uh, I meant take Jill with you. I don't want him humming to the middle of the road and right into a truck's grill. <laughs> grill, Jill... Right. All right, Joe. Come with me. Huh? All right. Quick save. And load. Want one? Hmm. No thanks. I don't smoke. All right. I got a text from Alma. Boss, I'm a Jill didn't fuck. Well, that's a bummer. She's sending congratulations your way, though. Tara said thanks, I guess. So, who was the lucky girl? So it was a guy? I never thought you swung that way. 
wasn't a guy. So it was a girl, and you did fuck? I don't feel comfortable talking about that, you know. You don't make things easy for me, though. How so? I mean, you're pretty hard to get close to, you know? You never talk about yourself. You're talkative so long as it doesn't involve you directly. Teasing you is literally the only way I know to get through to you. You make me sound like some weird loner. You are a weird loner. At least tell me if you enjoyed the night you spent with the whoever it was. I did. Good for you. Why are you humming Sunshine Stone so much though? Well, after the idol girl came yesterday again, I looked up her discography and I can't stop humming or listening to them. Right. Oh god, you didn't fuck the idol girl, did you? No. Why would that be a problem though? I don't know, it just feel weird. Well, that's out for the break. Let's go back. Right. Oh, and Jill? Hmm? Keep in mind what I said about opening up more. I mean it. That way we won't tease you so often. Listening to you say that has to be the weirdest thing I've heard this year. Shut up. I wonder if Alma finds Jill attractive. Mm. Take out these two. Put in... Yeah, that's fine. And... Yeah, alright. And that's that. Back. What were you two doing back there? Fucking. Oh, so just chatting then. Hmm. <laughs> Holy crap, did you two really fuck? John is the face of a man who fucked to death recently. See, Jill, you're making it too obvious. How? Oh. What will you have today? I'll have a gut punch. Coming right? Huh? What? N nothing. <laughs> Alright, a gut punch. Mm, one planner guide. Aged. Uh, here? Stop looking at me like that. Sorry. Are you okay? It's weird for you to order something like that. Yeah, I'm just trying out stuff. Did you know Lilim tanks are designed to identify food using the chemical, comp chemical components? Our tanks were designed with the human ones in mind. For example, the first flavors that we detect are sour and bitter, just like you guys. I checked my personal specs and apparently my sensitivity is set to 1.2235. That makes me hate those flavors because I feel them harder. Why all that exposition? I mean, I'd lie if I say I wasn't interested, but why? Well, after last time I got curious and started checking how many of my systems worked in detail. For example, the tips of my fingers are so sensitive to vibrations you could make a seismogram with them. Huh. And checking that, I found that it's all based on how humans work. And that got me thinking about what you said. I mean, for my systems to work, humans had to understand how they work. And after all those discoveries, they're not any more or less artificial. Why should I be? I don't know. Looking up all of that suddenly made me feel real. It was the opposite of what I felt last time. I feel like I'm here right now. Glad to hear that. Alright then. Let's try something sweet now. Alright. Let's give you a blue fairy. Uh, aged and mixed. Here. Ah, nice. To be honest, it's a bit surreal for me. What? I'm here talking to you and you're answering like any human would. You're, you're even expressing happiness. I remember when I was a kid, I usually tried to strike conversations with AIs. But after a bit, they just start looping through their built-in answers, repeating the same thing over and over. That always made me crash back into reality. When I think back to that, having such advanced AIs like you here right now, it's amazing. I don't know, it makes my inner child happy to see something she always dreamt of. Dreamt of. It helps when I feel particularly cynical. Ah, uh, you flatter me. 
Besides, I've always thought about humans like nature's lilims. The method might have been different, but we too evolved from a more simple form ages ago. If Lilim managed to create biological life years from now, we will all have come full circle. So what should I take from this is... You love me? Don't overdo it. Anything else? Let's go with a sugar rush. Okay. Uh, sugar rush. Uh, okay. That's an easy drink to make. Here. Yeah. Even in doubt, my love for, do for these is real. How romantic. Man, that go-go is a blast. Don't you feel like talking a bit more with Didi? Didi is too much of a prick and Gogo is tired. Besides, I want to talk with the bartenders. Oh, fuck. Well, I tried. Joe, I'll be in my office. Cute little girl, Lippman. Cam girl. Oh, fiddlesticks. What's your name, girl? I'm Dorothy Hayes, at your service. Do you come here often? Are you hitting on me? Hey Dorothy, I'm in the middle of a live stream. Do you want to participate? Sure, sounds fun. Okay, let's take a recommendation from you. What should I drink next? Try the sugar rush. Bartender, sugar rush over here. Bartender. S sorry, what? Sugar rush, please. Right. <laughs> uh, wait. Is this and uh, this or this? Either of those two. This? Was it aged as well? Damn it, I can't remember. Uh, no, it wasn't aged. I got the ingredients, right? Yeah. Good choice, Dorothy. Yay. So, what are you doing in my turf? Um, streaming, chum. Yes. No, I mean, that's what she calls herself. Man, that's a tacky name. Yeah, but it's my tacky name. Actually, that's not really my name. What's your real name, then? Behind streaming chance, also mask guys, the humble Nicole Chen. Humble? Why not call yourself Streaming Chen? It's funny that you mention it. You see, when I started, I called myself Nico Nico Chen. I changed websites so the name felt a bit out of place, thus I became Streaming Chen. Everyone nicknamed me Streaming Chen, though, so I just went along with it. Oh yeah, I get it. At one point I was going to call myself Dolores Hayes. But then I realized the name was as subtle as a brick to the face. Anyway, I'm here because the last time I came I ended up with greater viewer numbers than usual. And so I wanted to treat my loyal audience again. Oh, I see. Well, you came to the right place, especially if you're looking for some comfy fun. Honey here might seem harsh, but you just need to crack her shell. Shut up. See, you just need to say the right thing at the right time and she becomes a sweetheart. Quiet, you. Don't play hard to get, you know it's true. Hey, stream girl. That's me. I'll regret asking this, but don't you have a sponsor? It's weird that it's been this long without some advertisement. I have, but you see... The contract with them expired, so Marvin, the business guy, whatever he had to make... Oh, uh, whatever had to make a new one. He was gonna send it after his lawyers, it had a couple of additions, but... Um... Let's say he got too excited with my VR model and the contract became unreadable. Oh, so you used the contract to... Yep, he cut it into a pair of panties and rubbed it vigorously on his penis. Um... That's not what I expected. <laughs> I mean, you'd expect certain principles to be upheld, even in the adult VR industry. I reported him and he got fired, but now they're looking for a new business person thing. Honestly, I think the paper cuts all of his take of punishment enough. But I mean, why the contract? I don't mind it if you jacked off to an image of me with the contract. That's money that you're selling right there. I would have gone back on the deal were it not for the owner paying me a visit and apologizing profusely. Some people, seriously. Ah, dick paper cuts. 
I've done enough crazed teacher fantasies to know how they can be a problem. I don't think you need to have experience to understand that. That said, Joe's been grimacing for a full minute now. Don't mind me. Huh. But you know, I like you Dorothy. Why don't we celebrate with beers? My treat. Alright. Two big beers, honey. Alright, two big beers. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, and eight comma trine. All mixed. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, and eight. Here. Cheers. Cheers. Alright, not feeling my tongue on my feet. Time to get lewd. Did I hear lewd? Do you have any stories? Hmm, this will be a cheat for non-premium users. I once met a guy that insisted on doing it in a jacuzzi. He didn't mind being in premium time, so I started setting up the cameras. And man, was it a challenge. I wasn't just gonna stream over the water, I wanted some underwater action too. What did he do with the bubbles and all? That was the least of the problems, we just turned the chats off. And, but not only did I have to make a makeshift on the water cover, I also had to keep in mind the heat. Heat isn't good with cameras. Did you try chilling the cam a bit and putting it in a bag with some filling? We made something more convoluted. We took a small cooler, opened a hole for the lens and sealed it with plastic. I made sure things looked good through the cam and started recording. Threw in some cooling packs and sealed the fuck out of the cooler. It didn't need any weight. Yep, luckily the guy was into bodybuilding so he used some old dumbbells. He was also ripped as fuck, but that's another story. It was all a success, but it's also the last time I have sex on a jacuzzi. Blood rushing, hot boards, I felt like I was dying midway through it. Thank god he decided to zoom the action out of the water midway through it or I would have surely died. At least the guy didn't burn himself. What do you mean? Last time I had sex in a jacuzzi, my body got so hot the guy almost burned his dick. I considered investing in a cooling system, but it's so situational and expensive that I'll pass. Besides, those cooling systems require too much maintenance. Well, wait, I think I should leave, but care to join me in escapades for the rest of the night? Can I plug my services at the end of the night? Sure. Then count me in. I've got the perfect stories. Let's be on our way then. Goodbye, bartender. Bye, honey. Well, let's start the story. You see, there was this mega Santa. Wait, seriously? They left. A pair made in hell. At least they look like they're having fun. That method of filming underwater sounded convoluted as fuck though. But I guess it's hard to keep a cool head when you're horny. We're done, boss. Man, don't you just feel great? Were we in the same place? Here, Jill. What's this? A bonus. Today I got a taste of the kind of clients you deal with and... Keep it up. Well, tomorrow is the big day, so get ready. That goes for both of you. Ooh, bonus. You have no new notifications or reminders. Happy New Year. May all your wishes come true in a new bountiful year filled with health and joy and an eviction. <laughs> but because I for sure wouldn't be able to remember, as you saw at the start of the episode, whether I've read those articles and stuff before, we're going to read them at the start of the next episode. Till then, bye.